I'm going to introduce you to a Node.js module that will allow you to create and deploy server-side processes using a visual drag-and-drop style interface in your web browser. The module I'm referring to is called Node.red, a flow-based programming tool that allows you to design processes aka flows by wiring together microservices. Created in 2013, Node.red was initially intended for visually wiring together the Internet of Things, but as it matured, it evolved into something way more powerful, enough to be deployed as middleware within enterprise production environments. The power behind Node.red is how it hides boilerplate code from the design interface, allowing you to quickly build and deploy processes and integrations. To demonstrate this, I'm going to compare a simple Node app with a Node.red flow which will show you the time saving to be had and why you should be excited about learning this tech. Here we have a simple express app. In server.js we've got some logic for our express server, a scheduled process, as well as an endpoint called API greet. Then we have a function.js file that exports a greet function which returns the text hello world. The cron job in server.js runs every 5 seconds, triggering the greet function on every run. The function is also triggered by the API create endpoint. So the point of this exercise is that we're going to trigger this function using three events, manually via terminal, via web API, and via scheduled process. Let's see this in action. We trigger the function manually by requiring the function.js in terminal or command prompt and executing the greet function. You can see I've added this as a manual script in package.json, which I will trigger by running npm run manual. There's the response written to the console. For our next test, we start the node server and trigger the function via an HTTP request. Our endpoint will be IP address and port forward slash API forward slash greet. Because it's a simple GET request, we can just use the curl command in terminal or alternatively open the URL in a browser window. For ease of execution, I have this also as a script in package.json, which I will trigger using npm run endpoint you can see hello world is returned as a response. Finally, we can also see that in the background, the scheduled cron job is printing the response to the console every five seconds. Now, excluding the time that was taken to set up the base of this project, i.e. the package.json, dependencies, and HTTP server, creating the endpoint, the function, and the cron job will take you a couple of minutes if you know what you're doing. For fun, let's see how fast we can achieve this in Node-RED, which I have currently running inside my web browser. Here I have a canvas interface known as the Node-RED editor. Don't worry about how everything works yet, that will be explained in due time. Just know that it's a very simple interface and that it's easy to learn and work with. To mimic our Express app, we first need to write some JavaScript logic to return Hello World. To do this, we drag the function node from the left palette onto the canvas. The function node allows us to write and execute JavaScript logic on the fly. Brilliant when you're managing conditional logic between nodes in one's flows. Next, we double click the function node and add the JavaScript logic in the editor pane. Unlike our greet function where we return the text hello world, here we just set message.payload to that value. Don't worry yet about why it's done this way. All you need to know for now is that message.payload is the most common placeholder in Node-RED to transport data between nodes. We are now done with the function node and can click on the done button to close it. To view this function's output, we need to have it displayed in the debug tab on the right, which is similar to a read-only console window. We achieve this by dragging the debug node from the left palette and dropping it onto the canvas. The debug node receives data from other nodes and writes the result to the debug tab. We link the debug node to the output of the function node by left clicking and holding on its input port and dragging the wire to the function node's output port. Now that we have code and a means to view the output, we can create the three event triggers. To trigger this function call manually, we drag the inject node onto the canvas and link it to the input port of the function node. The inject node is a great way to execute transactions in Node-RED, including the ability to send static data like timestamps, strings, JSON, etc. To test this trigger, we have to first deploy our flow to the runtime. We do this by clicking on the deploy button found on the top right of the screen, which deploys our flow as server-side logic. We can now trigger the flow by clicking on the inject button. You can see the hello world value displayed in the debug tab on the right. Next, we need to schedule this function to write to the debug tab every 5 seconds. To do this, we double-click on the same inject node we used for the manual trigger. 
At the bottom though, we set the repeat property to an interval of 5 seconds. Click on done, followed by clicking on the deploy button to see it in action. While we're waiting, if you're enjoying this video, send me some love by clicking on the like button and for interest's sake, let me know in the comments if you heard or knew about Node-RED before this video. It would be interesting to know the audience that I'm preaching to. Anyways, back to our scheduled programming. We can now see Hello World being written to the Debug tab in the background. Note that we can still trigger the flow manually, even though the Inject node is running as a schedule. Finally, let's turn this flow into a Web API. To do this, we drag the HTTP in and HTTP response nodes from the left palette onto the canvas. These nodes allow us to create the express equivalent of HTTP routes. We'll link the HTTP in node to the input of the function node. Let's double click on the HTTP in node and set the URL to forward slash greet and leave it as a GET request. Take note that the URL path will be prefixed with forward slash API. When finished, click on done. Finally, link the HTTP response node to the output of the function node. We can now click on deploy. Because it's a GET request, testing the endpoint is as easy as entering the URL in the browser's URL bar. The URL will be the IP address and port of Node-RED followed by forward slash API forward slash greet. If we hit enter, we see that the response is the value of message.payload which we set in the function node. So how is that for a fun comparison of native node and Node-RED? What could take minutes in native node can be done in a fraction of the time in Node-RED. Scale that up to a much bigger project and you're going to see massive time saving. Now this is the first video of my up and running with Node-RED series, with many more to come focusing on all areas of Node-RED, from basic to advanced functionality to real world scenarios. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, now would be a great time to do so by clicking on the subscribe button and remember to also click on the bell icon so that you're notified as soon as new content is released. While this is primarily an introduction video, I want to close off by providing you with a reference to resources that will help you learn more about Node-RED. Your first stop will be Node-RED's website, nodered.org. This site will give you a lot of insight into what Node-RED is, how it works, and provides proper end-to-end -end documentation on how to achieve almost anything you want with it. You can find almost anything you need regarding Node-RED, including links to online communities and forums which can be found at the bottom of the homepage. Finally, I highly recommend you subscribe to the Node-RED channel on YouTube, managed by the creators of Node-RED. It includes a number of tutorials as well as live webinars and streams. I will be providing links to all these resources in the description below. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for much more to come. Cheers.